Hi everyone, my name is Bev Burns. I'm a Keystone AEA Tech Integration Consultant and today we're going to be looking at the Evernote for Mac uh, desktop version. Uh, what it does is it syncs all of your Evernote notes to a desktop version that you can use offline. It automatically syncs anytime that you go to a Wi-Fi. So any device you have Evernote on it will automatically sync and in this case to a desktop version. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is we're going to go to evernote.com forward slash download. And once you go to that website, and this is for the Mac specifically, uh, once you go to this website, it should automatically start the download. If it doesn't, make sure that you select the click here. Once you have the download and it's ready to install, you're going to see this middle icon. It has the Evernote em Elephant and it has your Applications folder. Simply drag the icon for Evernote over to the top of Applications and consider it installed. The next thing that we need to do is go to your Applications folder. Some of you find it through your Finder, which is pinned to your toolbar. Um, it will be on the left-hand side. Click Applications and then scroll to Evernote. Now for me, I like to pin things that I use quite often to my desktop. And so what I'm going to do is go to my applications, like I just noted, scroll down to where Evernote was saved, and pull it down to the bottom. Notice how it moved some of my other icons to make space for Evernote. Once it is downloaded to your computer, you will have to log in and I'm going to launch my desktop version. The login will happen on the right hand side. Use your username and password. Now this is what the desktop version looks like. The first thing that you have are shortcuts. And shortcuts, I love these just because they give you access to things that you use quite often. And in my case, if I select down to notebooks, I use meal planners and I use recipes very often. And you can see I automatically get easy access to all of those different folders and in this case recipe is a stack of notebooks um, so that I can easily click between them to see exactly what's in there and maybe some ideas that I want to have. Okay. You will also have your recent notes, things that have been added uh, to your uh, notebooks. Tags, some people choose to tag things. Tags are just simply labels that you can search with. The atlas tells you where you were when you uh, created the note. Okay. So that's a little bit about the left-hand sidebar. Now if we go into specifically notes, here happens to be one of them. At the very top you have some different options. You can share the notebook or create a public link. You can do this in two ways. So one of them is there, if I hit dismiss. The other one is under notebooks. And if you hover over them, you're going to see the share icon. Then you can also change the settings of the notebook. We're going to click the share button again. We come up with the same notebook. You can share it with, with individuals if you want them to be able to see what's going on in that folder. Or you can create a public link. For example, if you're at a conference taking notes and you want to share those with a large group of people, you can post that link on a website, Twitter, Facebook, wherever for people to access. It will be a view only um, access that you're giving them. Okay. And so what the desktop version does is it gives you offline access to all of your files as the same thing as the Evernote app does. Um, this is kind of the desktop version of that. You can also see how you can add uh, quick notes. Okay, Automatically add in a quick note for today. When I right click, I can also take a look at all the different features. Um, if I would like to present in presentation mode, um, you can go through all of your notes if you put them in sequential order. You can present from Evernote um, as a slideshow. Some other right-click options. You can copy the link to the note. Okay. So before we are collecting links to the notebook, if you click right-click, you can get the copy of the link to the note itself. You can also export the note. And to export it, right now it's just in an, H, um, an Evernote file. You would like an HTML file if you do export it to save to your desktop. Okay. Um, other right-click options, you can make shortcuts. You can also move them to their notebooks, 
to other notebooks easily and you can also copy it to it so let's say you want to duplicate it from let's say I want it in pasta and I want it in chicken I can copy them into both and you can of course delete your notes so overall um, some great features for the desktop version of Evernote. Just makes it quick and easy to add